Hi Bobby, this is Michael. I'm the founder owner and the materials writer for all of your lessons at the seven step system to pass the TOEFL IBT and you completed two more pronunciation practice exercises, lessons number 43 and 44. Hi Michael, this is Bobby. Thank you for your previous comments and feedbacks. You're welcome. Uh, today, I'm going to post Speak Clearly lesson number 43, Thought Groups and Blending. Part so that TH sound, I'm still working with you, so Thought Groups, lesson number 43, Thought Groups. Three, reading the sentences. Number one, upon approaching my house, I noticed a broken window. Okay. Number two, Death Valley. One of the remotest areas in California, both summertime temperatures, which are among some of the hottest in the world. Okay, good. Number three. Born in Atlanta on January 15, 1929. Can we find this? Hold on. King had family rooted in the African American Baptist Church. All right. Number four. It said that word, chur. Church, church. Or political satire found in newspapers across the United States is aimed at prominent readers, prominent leaders such as the president, governors, and the readers of Congress. Okay. Number five. A cousin of Charles Darwin, Sir Francis Galton, was interested in the measurement of intelligence because he wanted to increase it through selective breeding. Thank you. All right, and this is probably my mistake here. I think interested, you can't really separate interested from in. They're kind of together there. So I would probably read it like this. A cousin of Charles Darwin, Sir Francis Galton, was interested in the measurement of intelligence and probably do all that as one group and then because he wanted to increase it through selective breeding. Hi Michael, this is Bobby. I would like to post another exercise which is Speak Clearly Lesson number 44. Okay. Pronunciation Practice 1. Blending and Consonant Sounds. Yeah, this is very tough but this is the little final important elements of pronunciation that helps you speak like a native speaker. Number one, bathe the children. Okay. Wash sheets. Number three, grab back the pencils. Number four, we'll wind say, down. Number five. Hold on. We have not grab but grab grab back the pencils blow over number six ask Kenneth okay number seven all Larry wants number eight pop pioneer gotta pronounce that with more air P pop pop pioneer pop pioneer number nine ban noxious fumes Exercise two. Here we go. Pronunciation practice two. Got Blending it. and similar consonant sounds. Mm, let me take that one. Yeah, got it. Number one. Low thunder. Yeah, in that th sound, the second one. Loathe. Low thunder. Number two. Light sweater. All right. Number three. Wash jeep. Good. Number four. Nerf game. Number and then that one. Pronounce that R a little bit more. Ner. Nerf. Nerf game. Five. Box two. Number six. Fun lane. Number seven. Reach Jake. Reach. Reach Jake. Reach Jake. 
Number eight. Singing King. All right. Number eight, nine. Railroad. All right. Number ten. Beige Yard. And that, it's beige. Beige, beige yard. Beige yard. Next exercise. Pronunciation practice three. Blending vowels and consonant sounds. Now, part of what you want to remember here, Bobby, is once you learn about blending and understand it, then you remember that you always blend words within a single thought group. But you don't blend a word in one thought group to a word in a different thought group. You don't have to worry about that. Only within the same thought group. Number one, look it up. All right. Number two, pass over. Number three, hand out. Nice. Number four, break up. Number five, sound off. Number six, walk in. All right. Number seven, plan, plan on. Number eight, raise up. And probably pronounce this Z a little more. Raise up. Raise up. Raise up. Raise up the flag. Number nine. Camp that. Let's hear that last one one more time. Number nine. Camp that. Yeah, camp that. Camp that. Number ten. Right about. Listening, speaking, activity four. Thought groups and blending. And don't forget that TH. Thought. Thought group. Thought group and blending. So you're, you're, you're pretty close to the TH, but I imagine if I see your mouth, your tongue is almost between your teeth, but not quite. Almost like thought group. Thought, thought group, but thought. Thought thought group number one would you mind turning your music down okay number two after I hold up the painting tell me if it is straight or not so after I hold up after I hold up the painting tell me if it is tell me if it is straight or not number three why didn't Steve show up for our biology study group last night okay number four I'll be keeping my nose to the grindstone every day now. And then, gr not grind, but grind. I will be keeping my nose to the grindstone every day now. Now, when you hear that expression, it just means you're working hard. Number five. Angela looks back on her youth with satisfaction. Looks back. Angela looks back on her youth with satisfaction. Looks back on her youth. Number six. I have many responsibilities I would like to get out of. Number seven. The supervisor will check. I'm sorry. Let, is, let me start over. The supervisor will check off each chore as it is completed. Good. And you paused after chore. That makes a lot of sense. So you have one thought group right after the word chores so you might want to use a little bit rising tone there say the supervisor will check off each chore as it is completed as it is completed number eight Mary didn't appreciate John's butting in on her conversation with Jay, Jack so Mary didn't appreciate then pause Mary didn't appreciate John's butting in on her conversation with Jack Number nine. The woman understands why Mary was at home last night. Okay, you paused after the word was. I wouldn't do that, but your pause after understands was perfect because you have understands, then you have your object, which is the noun clause. So then say, the woman understands why Mary was at home last night. The woman understands why Mary was at home last night. 
the woman understands why Mary was at home last night. Nice. Yeah, that's better. Number 10. Could you look on the map and tell me where Interstate 15 is? Okay, could you look at the map and tell me where Interstate 15 is? Thank you. All right, good job, Bobby. So, I think you're getting those. So the main thing is, is as you get into TOEFL speaking now, you will be, you, I imagine you'll start posting those once you finish the pronunciation areas. Remember that within a thought group, blend the words in the thought group according to the rules that you're learning right now in these videos. And that really helps you speak clearly and fluently. Remember that the faster you're able to speak, the more ideas and details you can get in there. All right?